my lovely friends welcome to creative art i am nilima and in today's tutorial we're going to do decoupage art on a 3d object which is a bird house so let's get started now let's check out all the materials for this diy first of all we're going to need a decoupage napkin for decoupage art and these are all the different napkins that i have selected for this diy Next, for base, we're going to use a 3D object. This is a birdhouse made up of MDF board and I wanted to decorate this one from a very long time. There are so many different types of base, photo frames, cutout objects like this hanger and beautiful designs like this available in the MDF range of Itsy Bitsy. So do check out their online and offline store to get your desired MDF piece or base for your artwork. Next, for priming our base, we're going to use mixed media paste, two-in-one gesso and modeling paste in white color from Little Birdie. For placing the decoupage napkin on our base, we're going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue. For coloring, we're going to use multi-surface paint from Little Birdie. There are different color options available. We are also going to need some flat hair brushes and finally we are going to use decor varnish. I love to use the gloss one from Little Birdie. List of all these materials will be mentioned in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from Little Birdie. Now let's start the tutorial friends. Now let's start our DIY. First of all, we'll start by priming our base using mixed media paste which is 2-in-1 gesso and modeling paste. Mix just a little bit of primer with water and it is ready to use. Now in the same way I have completed doing the priming part on our base and this is how our birdhouse looks. I have also let it get dry completely for at least 24 hours. So now we can begin our next step which is coloring. And for that I'm going to use Little Birdie Multi Surface Paint. I have selected these colors matching to the decoupage napkin that we are going to use. You can also pick any other color like pink or violet just according to the print of your napkin. Now using a round hair brush, I'm going to color the base line as green. Till the colors get dry completely on our base, let's start preparing our decoupage napkin. And these are the two beautiful prints of decoupage napkin that we are going to use. The first print is of this beautiful different types of flowers from iris lily, daffodil to different lilies. And the next print is of a beautiful yellow color bird with yellow flower garland. So first of all, we have to begin by separating these three ply napkin from the printed page. So this is called a three ply napkin because it has three layers of napkin. This is one, this is two and this is the third and colorful one that we are going to need for this DIY. Now we are going to need only the colored piece which is this one. So separate this piece gently in this way. Now here we have got the printed piece which is a one ply napkin and it is ready to use for decoupage. In the same way, separate the printed piece of this three ply napkin also in this way. Now these are the two pieces of decoupage napkin that we have separated and here the coloring part of our base is also completely dry as it's been two hours. So now let's start placing these decoupage napkin on the base and for that I'm going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue. Pour the required amount in your palette. 
Now before placing the napkin using glue, take some measurements that where you want the design exactly to be. So for the front part, I want this beautiful bird sitting exactly on this hole where I'm going to place the stick. And this is how I want the design to be. And for the other sides, I have this beautiful floral print that I want to start placing exactly from this part. And I want it to go all around in this way. So I'll take a rough measurement that from what part I need to cut it down. This is the exact measurement. This piece perfectly fits our base now. Let's start using the decoupage glue. I'm using a flathead brush here. I'll apply the glue all over this base too. After applying the glue, place the napkin exactly where you planned it to be. Now placing the last piece. I'm going to stretch this part and place it in this way. Sometimes I like to use a dry paintbrush to gently spread the napkin. Now we have completed doing decoupage on all the three sides of birdhouse and this is how it looks. I have also let it get dry for at least 4 hours and now we have this piece remaining. But as we have decided to do the yellow bird on front, so we need to remove this part very sharply. And the easiest way to do that is to use a sandpaper or a file. So I'm going to hold my file in this way and gently press it and drag it in this way so the paper will easily get separated from the corner without leaving any sharp edge. Just hold your file in this way and keep dragging it. And this is how easily the paper gets separated. So we get a very nice clean edge. In case you have excess on this side also, repeat the same step. Now in the same way, let's place the next piece also. So here I'm using a Deco Magic Premium Deco Page Glue in my flat hair brush. Apply an even layer of decoupage glue all over the base. Now apply the decoupage napkin exactly where you planned it. To get to the corners, I like to use a paint brush and gently press it in this way. Don't press it too hard or the napkin may tear. Now till the front side gets dry completely, let's place the top side of decoupage napkin in the same way. Now after doing the decoupage on all the sides, I have let it get dry completely for at least 4 to 5 hours. And now I'm doing one more layer of decoupage glue on top of the napkin. So this will make secure of the decoupage print. Using a flat hair brush, I'll evenly apply decoupage glue on the top of napkin. Now for this circular part, I'm just going to use a wet brush and wet it in this way and the napkin will tear just by itself. So this is a very easy and clean technique to tear a decoupage napkin just by using a wet brush and you'll also get a nice clean edge.
in the same way I'll be doing decoupage glue on all the sides from all the different angles I'll let it get dry completely for at least three to four hours and then we can do our final step okay now finally the decoupage glue is completely dry and this is how our birdhouse looks so now friends we are going to do our last step and it is also a very important step for decoupage art and any other decor art to use a decor varnish from little birdie I am going to pour the required amount in our palette and then using a flathead brush I am going to apply a generous amount of varnish all over the decor from all different sides I am using the gloss varnish you can also use matte I just love the gloss finishing on all the decors that I do Also apply it on the inner sides and outer sides as well. In case you are planning to place the birdhouse outside where there will be direct sun, do apply at least two layers of decor varnish so your decor will be preserved from sun, rain and dust. So now friends I am going to let it get dry completely for at least 24 hours and then it will be ready to place. And now finally friends this is how beautiful and decorative our birdhouse looks. I am going to place this birdhouse in our garden area but you can definitely place it in your balcony or small garden areas where you would like to decorate. And friends, if you place it according to sunlight and direction, small birds and bees will definitely find it as a home. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.